The Shiro Sudoku Hills in the Shiro Sudoku district of the Greater Accra region has been discovered as a suitable skyline for paragliding sports. It will bring to two the number of paragliding locations in Ghana. According to Captain Ed Steen, the brain behind the Quill Paragliding Festival, if the Ghana Tourism Authority further develops this resource, it could become an important domestic tourism hub. A report by Gifty AJ. Pau Paragliding Festival is an annual event which has come to be part of the Pau Easter festivities. The first paragliding festival was launched in 2005 and rechristened the Kwao Easter Festival in 2010. The breathtaking event brings together seasoned and experienced pilots from around the world to fly hundreds of people during the three to four day event at Kwao Etibie, a small town in the Kwao South District. The Odrianoma Mountain is located along the Etibie Road. The Kwao Paragliding Festival flown thousands of people and giving them memorable experiences. As part of this year's event, a total seven pilots are on board the project, made up of six foreigners and one Ghanaian. Yesterday, some 37 people, according to the Tourism Authority, had the opportunity to fly, with a total 200 people targeted to fly for this year's adventure. It's 10 a.m. and the program is in full swing, with 12 people having had the opportunity to fly. GBC News gets interactive with some of the passengers the brain behind Ghana's paragliding initiative and an official of the Ghana Tourism Authority. Hi, what's Hi. your name? Uh, this is Salafi. And you? Abdurrahman. Okay, and where are you coming from? Egypt. Egypt. Okay. Egypt. Is this Egypt. your first time here in Ghana? Uh, not in Ghana. I've been here for like more than four years, but this is the first paragliding experience here, yes. Yes. So when? When are you flying? What time? Waiting the line. I don't know how the system works here, but I'm, I'm waiting the, the the pilots to come up there to take us again right now. Today being the um, Easter Saturday, so we just came here to have a tour with the um, the paragliding and um, the parachute to see how things are being done here. Yeah, my name is Ed Stein from the USA, California, okay. and I'm the lead pilot. I'm the organizer for the paragliders. Okay. For how long have you been doing this? I've been coming to Ghana, organizing this for 16 years now. Ah. That's impressive, quite a long time. Yes, it is. And how did the idea grow? The idea came from Jake. Okay. Jake, he's the one that uh, had the idea, and we had a colleague, Walter Nesser, who was a paraglider pilot, and he was working on the towers, and he said, hey, this would be a good place to fly. And sure enough, he was right. He got together with Jake, and the both of them made it uh, happen to fruition. So what's the ideal weather for paraglider? Ideal weather is today. Basically, we want a, a light breeze. We want a light breeze, uh, instability. You can see the, the puffy cumulus clouds. That's what we want. This is one of the most famous places, in my opinion, to fly in the world. Okay. So are there other areas in the country that probably you are considering having a similar spots there? Sure. Osaduka is past Shy Hills. Okay. Yeah, and that's a very good place to fly. Although it's not developed for flying, we hike up and we fly around and we can fly actually to the Volta River. Today, how many people got the opportunity to fly? Yesterday, we have 37 people flying. Today, how many people are we targeting? Uh, the targeting, if we get under, we'll be fine. Okay, but how many do we have built for? We, are, we have about 220 people built to fly. For 2023? 200 people built to fly and uh, we are hoping that today we increase the numbers between today and Monday we will go to at least uh, get some quite a reasonable number uh, 2019 has been the highest so far for us we're able to fly 268 passengers reported for GBC News Gifty AJ Odrianoma Mountains Etibie Kwao Eastern Region <laughs> Thank you.